Good evening, Theotrade. This is Corey Rosenblum, and you're watching the Theo Notley video for the 24th of March here, still in 2022. And we have another rally today in the stock market, but got some good news. If that isn't good news enough, crude oil is down 3% today, and the bond market's down. Gold is actually up a percent. So let's start right there, and we'll talk about some of the key names, which I think we see right here, which are NVIDIA and intel so let's start right here with the s p 500 it is actually broken above some key resistance that's about the 4460 level we've already gotten above that 50 day moving average and not significant not so much of a big conversation piece but nonetheless that market is making higher highs and higher lows and that's on a shorter term daily chart that's what we tend to focus on here at theotrade but on the weekly chart that is actually still uptrending and that's just a very deep or steep pullback looking at the nasdaq and that's where the pullback was a lot steeper very steeper and that's in part in large part because of the technology shares or technology companies are suffering or at least having a little bit of heartburn with the rise in interest rates we'll look at that through tnx which is the 10-year treasury note that's the yield again that's about when it says two or 20 that's two percent if it says one down here that's one percent and that's the key focal point as we keep referencing going into March and April is the Federal Reserve raising rates and the yield on the treasuries going up. That's the weekly chart. And we've seen that bottom just under that 0.5% level around the pandemic low. So keep that as a reference point. Pandemic low, roughly about 0.5%. Since then, yields have been on the climb. And that's not been perfect for technology shares, but as we then go into this concept about raising rates or the Fed raising rates and pulling up their Fed funds rate, uh, that's going to be a little put some pressure on some technology stocks. We saw this in Tuesday night's video. So there is Facebook. Facebook is off on the right on a weekly chart. And again, that daily chart on the left. Nothing else in play really, just showing you how far the Facebook shares have plunged almost. 380 down to 180 so we're up more than a 50 percent move from the top same logic here in netflix and just pinpointing some of the technology shares that have gone down sharply in the context of yields rates or the cost to carry cost of capital borrowing costs have gone up so that's the big picture and we highlighted that to an extent on tuesday's video there's the dow mini futures did not have that much or at least as significant of the NASDAQ of a pullback. In fact, on the daily chart, that's more of a sideways trading range. That's not necessarily a big downtrend. It's more of a continuation of a sideways trend. That is the same thing happening in the Russell. And this is seeing it on the daily chart. So all these levels here just imply that the Russell is in a trading range. The current range is 2100 and about just above 1900. So we'll pull back to the weekly chart and see that Russell had a big surge. It's not been as strong as the other indices, but it had a similar fall. And rises or higher interest rates can affect those small cap, small cap or small market cap names. As we conclude the session today, there are a few things that stand out. Number one, in terms of the advanced decline, a lot of the stocks in today's session were bullish. The standout was and is NVIDIA. And that is right here, which has a increased almost 10 percent in a single session but it isn't just nvidia we see intel and intel up on the chart might not be the easiest one to pinpoint here but it's right there there's intel and that is up six percent and then broadcom qualcomm etc how these play in actually amazon was down on the session today but the other monsters of tech microsoft apple google and facebook and we'll throw in there tesla and those are positive and bullish on the session. In fact, let's take a look outside the heat map, which shows the broad market, which has quite a bit of strength. And let's look specifically at our index watch. That's what Don shows us in each morning session. Now, this is the S&P 500. 426 stocks are positive, 75 negative. And we see which ones are outstanding. That is applied materials. AMD is a stock that we don't look at too much and the S&P 500 or the S&P 100, but it caught a strong bid in today's session as well. So there is AMD, 
And that's a chip. Company, nonetheless, is similar to one of the big winners in today's session in the S&P 100, which is NVIDIA. So AMD and NVIDIA have somewhat of a similar performance, at least on their charts, pricing, and what we're watching for the future. Now, NVIDIA is here on the weekly chart. So weekly charts do drive, or at least have the bigger picture in mind, and where the stock price has traded over the course of the last few years. And that's remarkably, resiliently straight up, just about all the way from that 2019. And there's that pandemic low, almost doesn't register on this chart. And the daily chart here is just a little pullback, or a big pullback, actually, a very big pullback. But the big picture is up. So that's NVIDIA, which is today's number one performing stock. And right there along is Intel. Now, Intel does not have that type of long-term persistent uptrend. It's a lot more of a trading range, of a multi-year trading range. So in terms of trade setups and plays, we're looking to play mean reversion. That's going to be long, long-term plays, a few months, more than a few weeks, more than a few months, to play up bullishly from 44 per share. And when the stock does travel to the 62, 60 level, that would be some areas to play some shorts or bear positions, bear put spreads and the like. But on the larger perspective, this is a long-term sideways trading range that is turning to the upside on the daily chart. Again, compare that to NVIDIA, which is on the big picture, very strong, no sideways action there, and AMD. Those are very similar stocks and very similar plays at the moment. But again, there are other stocks playing. There's Qualcomm, just to name a few. Not quite as impulsive, but nonetheless. So Oracle, which is, well, as we're talking technology sectors or technology companies, Oracle would play up into that list as well. And these are the leaders in today's session in the S&P 100. Apple would play in that list as well. So Apple being a large market cap stock, similarly, that again, the pandemic low, that was a significant move, very, very big move. 80 per share split adjusted down to 55. But in the grand scheme of things, that's, that's just a blip. And Apple shares currently split adjusted trade above or into the 170 level. And that's what we're pinpointing here. So what's remarkable about the last couple of weeks in the stock market is the resiliency, the strength, and almost vertical nature of that rally off of these lows. And for Apple, that was 150. For the broader QQQ, which is a technology sector, that was a strong, resilient play or bounce, probably stronger than expected, actually, from that 317 or 320 level. And we're seeing that turn to the upside with these breakouts like the S&P and like the NASDAQ itself. So as we continue to, wash, to push into the later part, the later weeks of March into the earlier parts of April, these are things to watch is that the short-term trend, which is or was the downside, is that now turning and confirming back to the upside. That weekly chart has got a big pullback, big retracement, but a big monthly or weekly chart retracement does not reverse a trend, especially one that is very, very strong and resilient. Outside of the equity market in terms of technology shares or sectors, we can look at energy, just to name one sector that has outperformed the market in 2022 quick note, although we're looking in tonight's video mostly at technology names, crude oil, again, for the Ukraine, Russia, and just the general inflationary environment, that's why the Fed is having to raise rates a little more aggressively than maybe we thought at the beginning. Inflation is a bigger concern, but that is coming through in the price of crude oil and, and your local gas station. So as gas prices at the pump go up, that is just one more sign of inflation. Of course, that would include grocery prices and house prices, just to name a few. But in terms of the stock market and the sectors, most of the equity market has been bearish or at least pulling back, retracing in the NASDAQ sector over 20% technology stocks. But the strongest sector in 2022 is and has been energy. And energy companies such as Chevron Texaco, or Chevron and ExxonMobil, just to name some of the leaders, there are plenty others in the energy sector, but that's just some of the main ones. And of course, the broader ETF is XLE. And while other stocks 
think the NASDAQ particularly have traded down, some of them well over 20%. In fact, the NASDAQ itself is down over 20%, but some of the stocks are down 50%. Some of the big names, actually. But the energy sector has traveled up and has continued that uptrend. So it's both in crude, which is driving the energy sector up, and inflation. And we see that in XLE. But again, the purpose of tonight's video is to focus on some of the big moves in technology shares. And to end the video where we started, that is NVIDIA. And we'll see that on the weekly. Let's actually take that down to a one minute chart. There is the resiliency and just the relentlessness of the buyers into this stock in today's session. There's where the market open, about 260 per share. And as we come to the closing bell, NVIDIA shares trade upwards of 280. And that is a similar picture in Intel, which started the session gapping up above the 4850 and closing, or at least just about closing, just shy of the 52. And even though it isn't in the S&P 100, we'll finish up looking at AMD, which had a similar performance. In fact, AMD is getting a strong boost as we come right into the closing bell. As always, be careful and safe. This is Corey Rosenblum with the night's Theo video update for March 24th, 2022.